have somebody who's going to give you a very special training, somebody who has been in this company for a long time. She is absolutely, without a doubt, a amazing, brilliant soul who is so good at training. Okay? She has been in this company for a while. She has helped so change so many lives. Seriously, you guys, if you don't know Dr. Kathy Kirkland, the queen of the cloud, you are doing yourself a disservice, okay? I want you guys to get to know her today because today we're going to be launching her strategy for the web analyzer, okay? It's, it's an amazing strategy. It's very simple. There's, there's not anything complicated about it. Anybody can do it. Just like you've heard in the testimonial videos that we've shared on, on Telegram or in the Facebook group, anybody can use the web analyzer, but definitely anybody can use this strategy. So, Kathy, can you hear me? Are you able to unmute yourself? Yes, I just unmuted. Perfect. We can hear you. Thank you for joining the call, Kathy. I know you're busy and I know you've got a lot to do. So thank you so much. Oh, no problem. It's an honor to be on here with you guys. I am excited. I am so ready to get started with this. Um, you guys, I've been with uh, iMarkets Live uh, since 2016 and have done really well. I met Stephen personally uh, last year in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Sat down, had a talk with him, love him so much. He is so sweet <laughs> and so respectful and honorable and, uh, and super smart, and very super smart. And I think, you know, thank him for allowing me to come on and spend some time with you. And what I appreciate the most is uh, he has the same vision that I have. And I want to make sure that everyone learns how to trade. And even if uh, we got to help out a little bit, uh, the way he uh, introduced his web analyzer to make it easy for those that are sneaking on at work trying to trade while you're still on your regular job. All you got to do is listen for that cha-ching sound and you know to get into your trades and everything. But I thank God for it. Uh, for those that don't know me, um, I am Dr. Kathy Kirkland. I live here in Texas. I'm a pastor of a church here, co-pastor of a church here. I've been uh, co-pastor for going on 10 years now. I've been evangelizing for 20 years and I got kind of caught up in the rat race of life. You know, life caught up with me. And um, we had the Great Recession back in 2008. I was a real estate agent during that time. I was doing really good, you know, making a lot of good money, independent, because I thought everybody had to have a place to stay. But when the economy gets tight, um, people start downsizing, moving in with their parents or, you know, getting roommates and getting apartments and things like that. So when the real estate market crashed, my whole world crashed right along with it, along with my 401k that I had worked for from age 19 up until 40 something. I won't give my full age, but you know, my birthday is tomorrow, <laughs> but it's just 40 something. So, and I only had $50,000 in my 401k account. And you would think that's a lot of money, but it's really not for a family of seven. A hundred thousand dollars a year is not a lot of money for a family of seven. So uh, when the real estate market crashed and my 401k crashed right along with it, along with everything else, my husband was in the military for 25 years and we were living off a of half a check. I had four kids in college and I had a four year old at the time. And so when, when that happened, I was devastated. I was about to lose everything. I lost a few properties. I had a padlock on my door here at the house and we were really struggling and I knew that it had to be something else because I'm looking at the, the wealthy and the, and the rich and they're not being affected by the economy. So I'm like, okay, something, they're doing something that I'm not doing. Every seven to 10 years, we hit a recession and the recession dictates to my house. But as of 2016, it no longer dictated to my house. So I ran into uh, a friend of mine gave me a call, Dr. Jewel Tankard. A lot of people know her, show her some love. She gave me a call and she said, hey, I'm coming down to Dallas. and um, I got a phone call from Lawrence Young and he was telling me about how they could show us how to trade and uh, learn how to trade and make money at the same time. Well, you know, she, you know, she's a superstar. So she's super rich, her and her husband. And uh, I didn't want my rich friends to know that I was broke. So I was like, no, I don't know. I don't know. She said, no, come on down. And so I go down and, and I, I ran into Austin Ghazi and, he gave me his testimony and of course I judged him by looking at him and you know forgive me you know a lot of y'all do too because I'm looking at this kid because he was my son's age and he was talking about I made x amount of dollars 
And I'm looking at him. I was like, I'm sitting up here broke, busted, and disgusted. And this baby is up here making six figures. How? <laughs> How is he doing it? So, you know, he told us and everything. And Chris Terry told us, uh, you know, if you can copy and paste, uh, then I could teach you how to make money. And uh, so I came home all excited and everything, and I'm telling my friends about it. And I'm really hyped because I gave my last to join the company because I had already tried everything else. And so, you know, you never come back home asking broke people <laughs> how to invest your money. So, of course, they, they kind of talked me out of it. I was discouraged, disappointed. But then I began to pray about it. And I began to, you know, tell God, I was like, okay, how can I be the head and not the tail? How can I be the lender and not the borrower? I'm a preacher, you know, and you know, I preach a word. I do this and I do that. You know how you plead your case, you know, when you're struggling, you plead your case with God. How, how, how? So, and he gave me Ecclesiastes 11 and 1, the good news translations. And it states that it is good to enter into foreign trade because you never know what bad luck this world is going to give you. And you need a minimum of seven streams of income in order to survive. So when I saw that and I realized that IML is not a scam the way my friends were saying that it was and, you know, from what other people were saying, when I realized it was not a scam, that it was a God-written skill set in a man-made company, I was all in. So I was like, how can I tell other people about it that don't believe in you, don't believe in the Bible, don't believe that, you know, that you were who you were, you were just a mere story in the Bible. And he said, just Google it. So I did, and I found out that foreign exchange has been around for 2015 years. It has never closed its doors, never filed bankruptcy, never laid anybody off, never missed a payment. And it's the only thing that I know of that has survived every economic crisis uh, that this world has had for two, 2015 years. So I'm like, okay, so I'm all in. It didn't win, lose, whatever. I'm all in because if I could work 25 years or 20 years on a job uh, to get a half a check and then lose it all in one recession, then, you know, okay, I need to try something else. So I got on one night and I believe it was Christopher Derrick or Mike Miles because it was them two, the only two um, that was uh, doing the live trading at the time. I got on with them and they showed me how to do certain things. I didn't, everything looked like Greek, Hebrew, and Chinese. And I, I had $40 I put in, and literally in a matter of one hour, my $40 turned into three figures. And I'm screaming and hollering because my husband was like, okay, you gonna, we got to file bankruptcy. You won't get a job. You ain't doing what you're supposed to. <laughs> We're going to lose everything. I need you to go to work. And I was like, no, I did that. You did it for 30 years. got a half a check, and we lost everything anyway. So I'm going to do this. And uh, so I was so happy that... Uh, Stephen, can I give the amount or do I give a disclaimer at the same time? Or? I can't hear you. I think we definitely I, have to give a disclaimer and let people know that results aren't typical. Um, but I, I think you can give your amount. I, I think that's okay. okay. Well, past results do not guarantee future results. Just because one person did it don't mean that you can do it and it shouldn't motivate you to do it. But it lets you know that all things are possible. I took a $40 account, turned it into $500 within an hour just by copying and pasting, following exactly what Mike Miles and Christopher Derrick was telling me to do. And then I remember Christopher Terry uh, was saying how money moves faster in the middle of the night. And while men slept, the wealthy got wealthier. So for one, it was an honor that I have never seen an owner that actually got up and put hands on with uh, the people within this company. So I was like, okay, he's a, a, a billionaire. Let me follow him. So I got on with uh, Christopher Terry, and he still does it. He, he gets on for the night out session. If you're not on those sessions, you need to get on. Got on, did what he said, do. Long story short, by 6 o'clock that morning, trading in the midnight hour, uh, got on, and my account went from $40 to at about 8 or 9 o'clock that night. And by 6 that morning, after getting on with Christopher Terry, I had $1,000. So I remember this scripture in Ecclesiastes 11 to 1 stating that you need a minimum of seven streams of income in order to survive. If you guys are not trading, you need to get trading. Don't run behind every wind of a new company that's popping up. Don't run behind every, you know, everything that glitter is not gold. Stick with what works. So I started doing that. I um, was able to make seven figures within eight months. 
by doing this and have not turned back since. Now, I have my ups and downs. You know, we all do. You're going to have some bad trading days. You're going to be greedy. You're going to blow some accounts and things like that. But what I like about Steven, he has created the web analyzer to let you know when to get in the trade and when to get out of the trade. And that's what I want to show you guys on today. Uh, I came up with a strategy. It's called the ECC 11 strategy. Just 11 to be clear, Kathy, by the way, this, this strategy you're going to teach us today, I, I don't mean to interject, but this strategy you're going to teach us today, it happens to be part of your knowledge and, and, and what you've done to, to clear your seven figures, right? Yes. This is what I use. Uh, in order for me to get my seven figures. <laughs> okay. This is so this, what I use. It's, it's the Ichimoku Kinko Hio. It's the cloud. All That's right. why they call me the queen of the cloud. I love the cloud. So for and those of you listening, just just keep in mind, this this lady, uh, Kathy, this, this wonderful, amazing person, has made seven figures. And she's about to teach you how she was able to do that on a platform that makes it even better, even easier. I mean, that's, that's insane value. So I hope you guys are listening and I'm going to shut up and let the queen take over again. <laughs> Excuse me. But yes, I started with uh, trading with the cloud. And the reason why I traded with the cloud was because um, when just reading up on different strategies, it lets you know what's going to happen in the future based off of the past and what it's currently doing. And so, um, and I was like, okay, I don't need to know you know, I'm, I got my last little bit in, so I want to, I need to know where the market is going. And in order for me to know where it's going, I got to know where it's been, because, you know, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. So if there's nothing new under the sun, then I know they're not creating new algorithms every single day just to throw us off. So it repeats itself. And so when I saw that pattern with the cloud, I decided to start using the cloud. So I called Stephen. And, uh, and I had told him about it and I wanted to share my strategy and I came up with a easier scalping strategy because I know it's kind of hard for some people to look at the cloud. For me, I was older, so I didn't have time to draw lines and, you know, <laughs> and, and, you know, do markup charts because I had a lot of other stuff going on. You know, I was still, you know, running um, a childcare facility and I have an event planning business. And I have a, a few other things under my belt that I was doing, so I didn't have time to really stay up a lot. So I just needed to devote a small amount of time. So if you have your web analyzer, I would ask that you pull it up. And then I want to show you uh, the strategy that I use. So this is the Ichimoku uh, cloud. And if you go to strategies down here, you click on it. Then you go right here and you pull it down and you scroll down to you see ECC 11 strategy FX. You can click on it, click save settings and reload. I don't know why I reloaded it. I should look wrong. Now, uh, of course, you know, majority of you on here should already know how to use it, how to use the web analyzer. I just want to show you how it works. The time frame over here is like five minutes, 15 minutes, one hour and four hours. Uh, for the 10 pips and dip, I mostly use the 15 minute time frame. So for those that don't want to use the five minutes, you don't have to, or the one hour or the four hour, it will still give you uh, an alert whenever, uh, whenever uh, price crosses. Now, one thing that uh, you have to do when you get on here because it's set up through TradingView, go to settings for your input. Um, now you see how it's looking now. The regular settings are 9, 26, and 52. So you go here to your conversion line period, change that to six. I'm gonna, you'll be able to see it much clearer once I do this. Uh, go to your baseline periods, put on 13. And for your lagging span, now don't sleep on that lagging span. It says the lagging, but all the money is in, in that right there. So uh, change that to 26. Once you do that, once you do that, take that, and put it, uh, click OK. Click OK. And then go back to settings and go to style. Now, the reason why I want you to change this is because on trading view, trading view uh, the conversion line is blue. It's supposed to be red. So change your conversion line to red. Then go to your baseline. Change your baseline to blue. And then click 
Okay. Okay, now you see that? Okay, so your red line is called your Tinkison. That's your signal line. Your signal line, every time that crosses above the blue line, your blue line is considered, uh, that's your Kinderson, that's considered to be your stop loss. For those that need a stop loss, your blue line is considered the stop loss. Your red line is considered the uh, signal line. So whenever, that's called the TK cross. So whenever that red line crosses above uh, the blue line, you get in for a buy. So let's go back. Somebody wants to know about the settings. The settings again are this. Hold on. Go to inputs. Uh, your conversion line period is going to be six. Your baseline is going to be 13. And your lagging span is going to be 26. Brian, that's your favorite mine too. <laughs> and okay, go oh, click style. And then make your your conversion line red, which is your signal line, and your baseline blue, which is your stop loss. The lagging span is already green and the leading line is already green. So just leave everything else the same and click OK. OK, so now, um, now for the TK crossing, when we first started, uh, I had a lot of friends that was in the same position that I was in. And so it was a made trading as simple as the red line crossing the blue line. You guarantee 10 pips. You don't have to have a whole lot of pips. It's good to collect a lot of pips at one time, but people that's coming in, that's struggling, that's trying to make money right away, 10 pips is, is a solid good 10 pips that you can get and make a decent amount of money. So if the red line crosses above the blue line, that's considered to be a buy. You can get in on the second candle to be for safe traders. Uh, you get in on the second candle and then you set your tape profit for 10 pips. Now, if you want to know exactly how far it's going to go, you'll get the alert of when it's going to um, go, but you still need to learn it at the same time. I always encourage everybody to make sure that you learn it. Don't just, you know, dismiss it or rely on it uh, because we are in a technology age, but sometimes technology can, you know, fail us sometimes. So you've got to learn this skill set. You have to learn this skill set. Yes, 15-minute time frame is where I do it. Um, you can do the five minute, you can do the one hour or the four hour if you have the patience for it. Now, I, I am a better swing trader than I am a scalper because of the things that I have to do. I like to set it, forget it, come back and look at the profits. But a lot of people don't have time. So red line, uh, change, you got to change your colors. Red over blue is a buy. Red, the, your red line under, if it crosses under the blue, it has to cross. Like right in here, it has to cross. So we're on EUR, USD. This is on the day. Let me go up here and change this to the 15 minute chart. Okay, right here. So if your red line is over the blue line, that's considered to be a buy. And then you get in on the second candle. So right here, when this red line crossed the blue, that's when it crossed, it crossed right here. This is the second candle. You would get in for the buy, and you could have rolled it all the way up, all the way up to here for your take profit. And if you were on our team, you did this. We did this this morning on IML TV. I used the web analyzer this morning. 25 weeks of 25 weeks documented positive pips with TK. Yes, come on, Brian. We got testimonies in here. Yes, so red oh AJ, red over blue is a buy. Red under blue is a sell. So red over blue over the cloud is a buy. Red under blue under the cloud is a sell. Guaranteed 10 pips when it cross. Get in on the second candle, or if you see an engulfing candle, go ahead and get in it. So again, for those, let me change this, let me mark it. So right here is, this is what's called the TK cross. When that red line crossed over that blue line, when it crossed, it gave you this candle right here, this red candle. You get in on the second candle, you get in right here, you ride it all the way up to there, or you do your take profit at 10 pips. Chernell, you, oh, that's okay. That's okay. You can be new to the cloud. Just uh, You can post your questions in there, and I'll try and answer it. Okay, so everybody got that? Red over blue, over the uh, above the cloud, it's a buy. Kathy, when you're, when you're done explaining, can you teach them how to apply the strategy as well? Sure. Thanks. I sure can. Um, 
and then red under the blue, under the cloud, uh, is the cell. Okay, all right, let me erase that. Okay, so now how to apply the strategy uh, when, um, when you see that crossing, that lets you know when it's time to buy or when to sell. Uh, what is the red line and the blue line? The red line is called your Tinkinson. Your blue line is called the Kinginson. And Janelle, right over the blue line is a buy, get under the, get in on the second candle. Yeah. For safe traders, get in on the second candle until you get familiar with it. Now, Stephen, is there anything specific that you want me to, to say? I won't be in Vegas, Stephanie. I'm sorry. I'm I'm still I'm under doctor's orders, so I can't go. Yeah, mostly just teach them how to apply the strategy template uh, for EC eleven. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me. Okay, so I'll go back. Buy it and use the indicators and everything. Okay, so once you once you go here and everybody click on if you have the strategy down here, you see the strategy at the bottom. You see that? Uh, if you click on ECC eleven. Did you guys uh, did you guys already pull it up or some of you that can't pull it up? Uh, if you click on the ECC 11, it'll have all of these on over here. You see how that just click when I clicked on the five minute? So on the five minute chart, it lets you know when that click, that lets you know that there was, that was a, a trade that was going on. So let me go here to the five minute. It gives you an alert. So on the five minute, the red line crossed below the blue line. Now you can, you may can't get 10 pips out of it, but you can't get five if you use the five minute chart. Yeah, I don't I don't think anyone could see the the pop-up box that came. I don't I don't know if you're sharing the browser or the, the desktop, but uh, Oh, I'm on the desktop. Uh, mine didn't pop up. Okay. Um if you click at the very bottom where it says uh strategy, there's a red link. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so if everybody clicks that, you'll get a pop-up window. Um Kathy, do you see that? Yeah. Uh huh. Can you see it? Uh, no, it, it disappears for us. I think when you click share, you you click share the the web browser, but you got to click share desktop to show all the windows. Okay. That way they can see a good, like, solid visual. Yeah. There we go. So how okay. you access this is at the very bottom. You see strategy, very bottom mm -hmm. strategy ECC eleven. Okay. You click that and you get this pop-up window and then you come to the drop down and you pick the ECC 11 strategy. Now, quick little tip, if you're on Safari or on mobile, you're gonna wanna click this button that says save for mobile or Safari desktop and then click the gold button at the top. Just a little quirk that, that Safari needs, a little, little fix. Once mm -hmm. you click that, you'll see the, the um, indicators change to what Dr. Kathy is showing <laughs> on her screen. Okay, so Dr. Dr. Kathy is showing right now the ECC 11 strategy on her screen with the Ichimoku cloud and the RSI, and she just walked you through previously the rules for this, okay? So Dr. Kathy, if, or if we were to click the, the EuroCAD um, potential buy that just came up, if we, if we click that, it should open up the chart for it. And oh, then yeah. basically, we, we can use your strategy to validate the high probability entry point. Is that correct? Yes. Perfect. Yeah, yes. I'm clicking on it now. And then it gives you, uh, it lets you know what's happening now. Perfect. It just gives you an alert, letting you know that it's gonna be a buy. And as you can see, your red line is above the blue line and price is starting to come back up. But the uh, that's really the blue line there. So uh, I had the settings changed. Now, you don't have to change these settings uh, on the 613 and 26, just give you a clearer view of it uh, to where you can see exactly where it's going and, and what it's about to do. It's still and, going into a buy, uh, but I will still change the yeah. conversion line to red. Yeah. And every and, time and you do that, remember that. When you change these settings, by the way, click the defaults, save as default, and it will keep the settings when you refresh the page. So, no, to the left. Right there, settings, save as default, and then on the inputs as well. Okay. So you gotta click save as default, yep. 
click save as default and click okay. And then if there's any input changes you needed to make, same thing, edit the inputs, same thing. And then defaults, save as default. And that, that's a quick tip for you guys as well. So just so you guys know, TradingView doesn't actually let me um, automatically do these settings for you guys. Um, they allow us to use their charting platform for free and commercially, which is amazing, but they have a couple of limitations on some things you can do. So, you know, no, no matter, because you can go in, you can put the settings in, you can click s defaults, that little drop down at the bottom left, defaults, save as default. You want to do that for right now for inputs and then also for your styles and then just click okay. And then you're good. Yeah. You're, you're golden. So that'll save your settings on your indicators. You can do the same thing for the RSI. If you ever, if you guys ever need to change the period, same thing, just default, save as defaults, click okay. And now if you refresh the page, the settings stay. So Kathy, so if we're evaluating this buy, does it meet the rules for the buy? Yes, because your red line is starting to move up. Now, the reason why now, even though it hadn't crossed yet, I would still get in it based off of, um, the alert that came, plus I know that it's getting ready to go up based off of the uh, the lagging span, the conversion line, which I call the money line. So those that be on uh, my channel every morning when we're doing this, uh, the money line, it, it says lagging, but it's really leading. Uh, the red line and the blue line follows it. It moves before your signal line. But for those that are uh, not as aggressive, as aggressive as I am and a few others <laughs> to stay safe, to make sure that you secure your bag is lining up with it. So now we got AUD, USD for a sell on the five minute chart. Let's pull that up. And it said it's saved. And then it's showing that it's a sell. And it is going down into a sell. So you Everybody see that? Your, your, your uh, ECC 11 strategy rules, you approve of the sell. Is that correct? Yes, I approve of the sale on the five minute chart. I sure do. Perfect. Uh, right. would, it would be nice if you would answer my question. What's your question, EDU? Sorry, I didn't see it. Uh, had it uh, what's the rules for the sale? Um, the red line below the blue line, uh, below the cloud is the sale, or the red line below the blue line, as uh, long as it crosses below that blue line, it's a sale. This is a scalping strategy. I thought I answered yes to that earlier. This is a scalping strategy based off of the five and 15 minute chart, but you can go to the four hour chart. If you're more of a swing trader, just click the four hour chart or the one hour chart, whichever one you use. Yes. Uh, and I would recommend, no. Uh, if you guys- But the R signs are already set. Yeah, if you if you guys only do swing trading, by the way, you can just uncheck the five and fifteen minute at the top left check boxes. That's what Dr. Kathy was explaining. Uncheck the five and fifteen minute at the top left, and then just leave on H1 and H4, and then you can click whatever setups are showing for the H1 and the H4, and then you guys can just apply the strategy she just taught you to those H1 and H4 rules. Um, on, on the calls, just like we just did with the EuroCAD M5 buy and the AUD USD M15 sell. You know, it, it's like I said, this is a very, very simple strategy. It's honestly no wonder Dr. Kathy was able to make the kind of money she makes and, and have the life that she's able to have. I mean, with something this simple, anybody can do it. And that's, that's fantastic. Yes, I have uh, students. Uh, I have middle school kids that trade during the summer. I teach kindergartens to trade off of this during the summer. That's their summer job uh, at my academy. This is what they do. I fund their accounts with $20 and we, we do this TK crossing for sale and they do it. Now, if you're on the four hour chart and you wanna swing it a little longer, you see here your, your signal line is up, your candle is up, your price line is going up, and your your chiku span which is your lagging span which i call the money line is pointed up if you want to know how far up it's going and you want to do more than 10 pips then you look to the left of this green line for your next high and you look above the price line and you go all the way over here because remember in order for you to know where it's going in the future you need to know where it's been in the past and you click on that you look on that and you see that okay 
my green line is going up, it's going to consolidate some, and this is going to be my next take profit. Then you mark your take profit right here. So your take profit will be right in this area, right here. And of course, you know, you get your line, you mark it up, and then you get in for your buy, and then you just wait. Yes, you can trade with me every morning, uh, Monday through Thursday, on IML TV channel 17. And I usually pull up the, uh, the web analyzer uh, to show people because a lot of people have been asking. Now, somebody asks, how do you change your, your settings for your time frame? You go right up here at the top. You click right here. I usually always go to the drop down box, depending on what time frame you want to look at. And then it gives you your minutes. And that's if you're analyzing manually, by the way. If you guys are taking yeah. the high probability setups on the left, you don't even need to use this section exactly. she's showing you. You just use the check boxes at the top left. Uncheck M5, uncheck M15, have the H1 and H4. Um, in fact, Dr. Kathy, can you uncheck the M5 and the M15? We'll just quickly show them. Yep. So now you guys can see the setups with H1. <coughs> the H4s occur very rarely. Uh, they're mm -hmm. usually really, really power, powerful setups. So you would just click this, this US CAD. Let's, let's say that this wasn't 50 minutes ago. It was right now. You click that US CAD with the H1 chart will show up. Um, and if it doesn't, then you can, you can use the uh, 1H button. But um, you click this, you analyze on the chart, you follow the rules. And Kathy, can you explain the rules one more time for us? Okay. Uh, so we're on a higher time frame. So if the red line is above the blue line, you get in for the buy. If the red line is below the blue line, you get in for a sale. But it's going up into a buy. So I'm in agreement with it because I'm looking at my lagging span. Remember that moves before the other do. But for safe traders, uh, you will want to wait until it gets above here. Mm -hmm. So it's getting ready to go up into a buy. And once that you see that going up, just like I just explained it, if you want to see it, it's giving you that buy indication right there. Uh, you see your candles. When this moved, when those candles went into a buy, it lets you know that it was going into a buy. And if you look at this, you see that it's doing the same thing. So in a, well, you got about an hour. Each candle is an hour. So eventually it's going to end up into a buy. And this is going to be where it's going to go based off of what it, where it was in the past. And like I said, if you do five to 10 pips off of it, it's guaranteed. If you're on a higher time frame and you want to, you know, go a little further, then you look to the green line to the left to see uh, where your next high is before it consolidates, pull back, or going back up. But those that swing trade, you understand all of that part. Uh, got some questions here. Yeah, we need to wrap up in the next eight okay. minutes because uh, David and Monitier will be coming oh, on. Okay. Yeah, David will, David will kind of be taking over and doing some of his blitzes. Um, but uh, I, I just noticed a little bug, you guys. When you click the H1 chart, it should automatically open USCAD on the H1. I'll be fixing that immediately. I've made a lot of updates to the software, so that's a quick fix. By, by right after the call, that'll be good to go. But uh, when you click H1, when you click H4, it should open the corresponding time frame, just so you guys know. Um, I know there's a few people who are probably asking about that, but you guys have the rules for the ECC 11. This call is recorded. Dr. Kathy, what is the best way to get your um, stop loss and take profit with this strategy? Real quick. Okay, if you, uh, your blue line. Just say if you got in for a buy, and you, use your, you can use your blue line for your stop loss. So you can mark it from right here. That's what I like about the cloud. You, you can either set it five to 10 pips, or 25 pips, whatever you're comfortable with, but you can use the blue line as your stop loss uh, because it will, <laughs> excuse me, it will trail behind the red, uh, the red line. So you can use that for your stop loss and use your green line for your take profit if you go past uh, the 10 pips, especially on the 15 minute chart. But to know more about it and to go more into details uh, to where you can, you know, ask your questions for a straight hour, <laughs> hop on my session in the morning at 4 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Channel 17 in the uh, Forex Advanced Channel. 